Hi everyone. Today we will discuss uh, 3.0 Java language. So we will focus on 3.2 data type, operator and expression. At the end of this topic, student shall be able to identify identifier, variable, constant and reserve word. B identify various primitive data types. First we see what is identifier. Words used to name constants, variables and functions. Identifier are formed by combining uh, letters digit and underscore okay, now we see the rules of naming identifier in java so first remember an identifier must start with a character okay whether uppercase letters or lowercase letters second uh, can use underscore or a dollar sign if you see java is a case sensitive so that uppercase letters and lowercase letters are different. Remember this, huh? So like example, uh, pay underscore rate. This one is all using uppercase letters. Second, we have uh, pay rate. Uh, this one, the P only uppercase letter. Then others all uh, lowercase letters. So, and next we have P and R only, we write using uppercase letter and the last one is all, we are using lowercase Although all the meaning are same, but is considered all different identifiers. So, please take note. Second, the rules of naming identifiers in a Java. So, first, other special characters are not allowed for naming an identifier or variable. So, example, uh, percentage, operate, uh, plus, or you want to use uh, curly bracket, or oh, not allowed. It. Second, we have a reserved word or keyword listed in Java cannot be used as identifier. Example, integer, char, double if why else number three blank space and tap space cannot be used okay if you see this one uh, java keywords cannot be used as identifiers see example of valid and invalid identifier so the first one gross underscore income is valid Okay, but student H, uh, to this one is invalid. Why invalid? Because here got space. Okay, next we have city underscore tax. Okay, this one valid, but continue invalid. Why invalid? Because this one is Java keywords. Then we have students underscore H. This one valid. But this one 17 pro invalid. Why invalid? The first character must be a letter or an underscore or sign dollar. Must not begin with a digit. Remember that one. Okay, this one valid because the number is the end of the word okay this one invalid because using this plus operator okay count valid uh, this one invalid because number cannot okay so remember the first character must be a letter or an underscore or sign dollar okay next we have number underscore of underscore characters uh, this one can okay this one cannot okay must not begin with a digit must not begin with a digit 
okay this one valid uh, this one cannot this one invalid because using percentage okay this one uh, pass a question we we'll try to discuss uh, two question here name three uh, rules of naming identifier so you can write first cannot start with a number please remember this cannot start with number but can start with a character or an underscore or sign dollar second cannot use blank space okay that's why we use underscore character number three uh, you can write cannot use special symbol except sign dollar okay And the last cannot use reserved words, example like double charm. Okay, number two, state the reason why the list of sequence characters given is invalid identifiers. Okay, this one you have to state the reason. So double, why cannot uh, become uh, invalid identifiers? Because double reserved word. Okay, second as. Uh, dash name okay this one special character is not allowed there. and the last one three num okay it's also invalid identifier because not beginning with the letter okay next we see variable variable is the name given to the memory location where a value stop Okay, to store a value, we must reserve a location in the memory of the computer. So the reserved memory location is known as a variable. So variable name also known as identifier. So the variable must be declared before they can be used. Can we see variable declaration? So a variable must be declared with a name. Remember, with a name and a data type before it can be used so this one is a general form of a declaration so first data type you write the data type second name okay so still remember uh, data type like example like integer double char okay then we have um, variable list so also can be uh, any valid identifier okay example integer number so this one data type and number is a variable second uh, double weight okay double means a plotting uh, number data type so weight is a identifier if you see multiple variables can be created in one declaration so example you can write integer so integer is a data type so the identifier number days mark so what i mean here you can write multiple variables can be created in one declaration just just write only one times the data type so i will go integer integer number days marks next variable can be given an initial value in the declaration so example integer total equal to zero and with the semicolon or integer base 10 comma total equal to 50 and with the semicolon when a variable is referenced in the program, its current value is used. Next, we see what is constant. A constant is an identifier that is similar to a variable, except that it holds one value while the program is active. So, the compiler will issue an error if you try to change the value of a constant during execution so you must remember this 
okay if you try to uh, change the value so the compiler will issue an error because when uh, because for the constant holds one value while the program is active a constant must be declared with a name and a data type so in Java, we use the final, the word final, modified to a declare a constant. So for Java coding conversion, you use all uppercase names for constant. Uh, it's because for program read readability. Lah. Okay. So the general form of a constant declaration is, so you write the final, the word final, followed by data type variable name equal and with the value the value that you want to fix for the constant so example final double double is the data type variable name okay pass underscore mark equal to 45 okay dot zero zero Okay, and with the semicolon. Next, uh, we have final integer. Okay, data type. Pass underscore mark equal to 45. Uh, so, this one using integer. Uh, so, the value 45. Okay, this one is floating point. Again, the last one. Uh, this one. For pi. Okay. So, pi we use. For pi, we use double because the value also floating point. 3.142 uh, and make sure you end with the semicolon. Okay, next for reserve word. Okay, Java reserve word are keywords that are reserved by Java functions. So it cannot be used as identifier. So you must remember it cannot be used as identifier. So example variable names, method names, and class name. So this is uh, an example uh, reserve verb or as well as keyword listed in Java. Lah. So example if okay, then we have double else okay for okay, what is it using a uh, while okay char boolean okay so maybe you can uh, remember few reserved words. 